Crafty family. Look at where you are. This is a bit of a different angle, isn't it? We're going to give this a try, though, because I got myself a selfie stick. And you know what? It makes things a lot easier because now, instead of my video camera being over there and your angle being, you know, sideways, you are like right on top of... Oh, my desk is a mess. I haven't cleaned up. My best friend was here today and we did a video together and I don't know if I'm going to get that video up before this one because I had some issues so I was trying to fix that so here I am cleaning while <laughs> while you're there but anyway back to the thing my ADD is going crazy right now back to the selfie stick it's cr it's it's making it able so I can have the um camera angle be over which is what I would prefer and I'm curious if you guys will prefer that too um, so let me know in the comments if you like this angle of things. We're going to give it a try, see how it works. If you don't like it, you know, just make sure that you maybe, you know, if you don't like it, it's, it's not because it's just different and you're not used to it yet. You know, just let me know though, just from, you know, I'm going to take my robe off. I was cold. I keep getting like, I'm not menopausal exactly, but I keep going, I keep, I get hot flashes all the time and I wear long sleeves in the summer. I'm a weirdo. I like winter. That's just my favorite. But anyway, let me know what you think of this angle. And this is just going to be a little video. I wanted to share with you some of the junk that I collect because I'm going to be making some junk journals and different stuff with junk. And I, I already do make stuff with junk. I just like junk. So I wanted to share with you what was in my junk box. And I thought that would be interesting to somebody. Maybe. I don't know. It would be interesting to me if to, sh to see your junk box. So anyway, I got this box. It's like this plastic shoe boxy type thing. And inside of it is just stuff that I have collected, whether somebody was throwing it away or somebody gave it to me like this. Something in the mail came to me in this from somebody. And it's got like this little um, uh, kawaii bag. And then there was a Hello Kitty bag and there was stuff in them. So I save it because I could do something with that. And then this came from Spanky when she sent me something. It was inside of this, and I thought, well, that's pretty groovy. Save that. <laughs> I don't smoke anymore. I do vape. I uh, use e-cigarette, but I don't use nicotine in it. It's just for flavor, you know, just kind of nice. Um, but anyway, I keep getting these coupons and stuff, so instead of using them for their intended purpose, and because I don't smoke anymore, I'm going to take them and make them into like a little flip-out journal. Stuff like that. These are just hopefully giving you ideas as well. I got a card from somebody, and as beautiful as it is, um, I want to be able to use this in a card junk journal um, because I do save greeting cards, which actually, this is in the wrong place because I do have a separate place to put cards, so I will put that aside. Um, this pad of paper I've had since I was probably in my 20s. And I finally used it up because I, I dug it out. And it's really pretty. Um, well, the wrong way. Because uh, it's an angel. And it's really pretty. And I, I want to use the cover, obviously. And then also there's a nice piece of cardstock here. Um, so, yeah. So that can be used as well. Um, I was using up the rest of this paper because I dug it out uh, for pocket letters. I would write my little note on it because it was so cute. And it had the angel, the same angel here, was on each piece of paper, but very, very muted. Like, you know, how they take the level down so it's just in the background. But it was so pretty. And then I've got some envelopes. Some of you might recognize some of these because, well, um, like if you decorated it. Because I might use some of these in my junk journals. So I save those. I have a little glossine bag that I got from somebody, and even though it's got a hole in it, I'll patch it, and I'll use it in one of my junk journals. Packaging. Fantastic. Packaging is great. Like this Seven Gypsies, it's got this design here. You know, I can either cut it and use it, or put it into my junk journal just like this, or stamp things out of it, or I mean, uh, punch things out of it. So, because usually a lot of the packaging, I love when they do that. I love when they put, you know, some sort of pattern or design. Please don't mind my nails because I just got done painting, doing my mixed media project, and I have gunk under my nails. It looks like I haven't cleaned them for 10 years. And then this, again, another cool packaging. 
So, uh, Tattered, Tattered Angels does it. Seven Gypsies does it. It's really cool. Again, I got this when I had gotten stuff from, um, I think it was from when I got stuff from my friend Mirabelle who sells different craft supply stuff. I think this was one of the bags that she sent me and I thought it would be cute in a journal to put this in or do something with it or even maybe just take off the doily something. I'm just saving it. Here's a nice piece of cardstock from Heidi Swap. It's not decorated. I wish it was, but I can decorate that myself and it's white and it's kind of glossy. So there's a lot of things I can do with that. Um, somebody sent me these and I will use these. They're just the tickets that you pull when you go somewhere to order something and you stand in line. Like in other words, when you're at Joann's and you're getting fabric and they make you take the ticket. Even if there's nobody there, they make you take a ticket. Don't understand that policy, but okay. Um, so yeah, so I saved them. I can glue them into something. And then every time I go to the bank, I ask them if I can take some of their, um, you know, money envelopes. Oh, <laughs> whoops, that didn't, that wasn't supposed to be in there. It was one of my Prima dolls that I stamped. Um, it just ended up in there somehow. But I ask, and these are from Bank of America. These are some from SunTrust. I have some from Regions. Like, I've got from every dang bank in Tennessee, probably. And I take them because these are fantastic to decorate. You can recover them and or gesso over them and decorate them and just use them, you know, for little goodie bags. Or you could put them in journals and use them. So, yeah, fun ideas, right? Um, and I got another random envelope that somebody gave me a card in. Use that. Another greeting card somebody had sent me a while ago. This was from a friend of mine when I was sick. So that I'll put with cards. Here's from washi tape. And there's a cool background on it with little polka dots. So that can be used. Um, here's another one that's nice and shiny that can be used. When I go to Kroger, my grocery center, they give me coupons and they put them in this little envelope and I thought it was pretty with the tulips on it. So this can go in a junk journal as well. And, they get, and then I got another one and this one also has the envelope and they put that sticky stuff on there so you have to like pull it open. But here's an envelope here. This one I can cover with paper. So that's that. Then I got an envelope here from somebody. Uh, one of my clients, she got into Zentangle and she made me a Zentangle on my envelope when she paid me. So I can use that envelope. Just a piece of random cardstock out of, uh, out of a packaging. This was a little like foil envelope and it had something in it and I can't remember what. I don't know. So it was just a random foil pocket which would be cute for um, a junk journal. Then there was these little things that were from uh, Brad's that I had gotten. And they have like cute little pictures on them. And then here's a Prima Doll stamp packaging. These have the best because you get lots of, uh, you know, really cool designs. And then plus you have the Prima Doll that you can cut out and use. So those are great. And then there's this one, which had a pretty packaging. You're getting the picture. These I got from a bank, um, First Tennessee Bank. And they're like their little, and this is a nice, uh, it's not a cheapy paper. It's a pretty good paper. So this would be perfect to recover this and use it as a little, like a folio type of thing or something like that. So I picked up, I grabbed a bunch of them. They're free. They're usually just about their bank and whatnot. And here's some more of these SunTrust bank things. I get a lot of things from banks, apparently. I'm always in banks uh, cashing checks or doing whatever. Um, robbing them, you know. No, I'm just kidding. Um, and then I got this envelope of paint chips that I found in my drawer from back when I did my house in these colors. Um, so I just kept them. And I, in fact, if you'll hold on one second, I recently got more. I recently got ton more paint chips and that's going to be an upcoming video soon um, what I'm going to do with these and uh, I was at Walmart getting some paint because uh, I'm painting my guest room and the guy that was there I said you know I said do you care if I take some paint chips hold on 
I said, do you, do you mind if I take some paint chips? And he's like, no, I don't care. And I said, well, I'm probably going to take like three or four of each color. And he goes, go ahead, knock yourself out. I said, okay. So I went through and got, these are the Disney ones. Uh, Disney has a paint, apparently. I didn't know that. And it has little Disney on them. And it's like in a metallic, uh, you probably can't see it, but it's like in a metallic, um, like shiny kind of metallic-y color so I just thought they were cute I can punch that out or I can just leave it and make little tags with it but there's all kinds of cool colors and so I want to make some tags or you know maybe uh I don't know if these are pocket letter size hmm are they well I don't think so they don't look pocket letter but I, I'm just wondering if they could be cut to a pocket letter size yeah they're bigger than a pocket letter Oh, sweet. So they're three and a half, but they're a little bit bigger than two and a half. So all I need to do is cut off a quarter of them and wham, pocket letters. How cool is that? I'm going to have to go back and get some more of those because that would be so much fun to have the little Disney logo and make pocket letters out of these. How cute would that be? And then I got these big ones right here. And guess what I want to do with these? Fold these in half and they're book covers for my little books. And folded in half, yeah, they're per folded in half. They're two and a half by, by three, almost three and a half. So these are perfect for making books for your pocket letters or for using them as tags, of course. So there's so many things you can do with paint chips. Uh, I mean, paint sample chips. I mean, run to, run to Lowe's, grab some. I mean, they don't care. They're there. They're there for people to take them. That's their intention. I and mean, maybe they're not intending you to take this many, but I don't think they care. These companies have millions and billions of dollars. I don't think they're going to be missing the fact that you took some paint chips. You know, it's not like they're going to die because of it. And then there's these kind here which also can be used as tags. You can cut them in half and make two tags out of them. You get lots of colors. You can punch little things out of them. You can use them in your, you know, collaging or what have you. So way fun. And then these are just old ones that I had um, because these are cool. They've got like a hole in them so I can put something behind them. You know, there's just, and they're just kind of, some of them are tattered up and I just find them unique. So I have those in this envelope. I thought they were interesting. Oh, here's some more of them, which actually belong in that envelope. Just more colors that I did my house in years ago. So that's cool. And then here's just a package. I don't know. It was from something. I don't know what it was, honestly. These bags I got from Starbucks, which in fact, they I had asked them for some more bags. They didn't have any more of the pink ones. Um, but they did have the white ones, so I've got a boatload of them that they gave me that are brand new. These actually had food in them, but I cleaned them. And, um, yeah, so these little bags are going to be adorable in a, in a project. More paint chips. Let me stick these in. This is just a random piece of cardstock. Um, with, that's pretty cool. Uh, where were my paint chips at? I will shove them in the envelope. Try to keep them together. Keep the old ones together anyway. Um, then we've got some vintage paper that was sent to me and I think I used some of it and then this is what was left over or, or where was this from? I'm trying to think. Oh no, 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 no. This is from, yeah, because this is Old Hickory Boulevard, which is by me. Um, this was on something I got and I can't remember. I don't know. It was on something. But anyway, it's vintage. It's old and it's cool. These are... These were packaging from something I bought, um, and they have a cool pattern on them. Um, here's some more washi tape patterns. Another envelope that somebody sent me. Here's a um, Shamrock's Christmas Wonderland. Uh, this is from a place by me that, um, and they have ads in here, and they do the the drive-through Christmas light thing, and then they, so they have ads in here for different things so and the paper is pretty good so I could probably turn this into a little mini junk journal or something and then there is more background paper from die cut stickers these are those heart stickers and stuff that you get in the like the dollar area of embellishments in Joann's another prima doll stamp package another envelope look at this bag isn't that cute little animal print bag 
How cute! That'll be fun to use. Here's some wood, which um, this can be used to make tags with, make cool things with. And it's all, you know, wood sample pieces. How cool, huh? So that's fun to use. I'll keep those with my paint chips. And then I've just got some manila paper and these little scraps were in here. And this is just the ta the little thing off of a uh, an envelope. I just stuck it there to keep it. Um, here's some little, like, ribbon spools. They can be used more packaging. These were like another thing to show a wood stain samples. My doily package which had a pretty purple. A doily that somebody sent me a pocket letter and wrapped it in. Um, just a piece of card that I had for a long time. I can use this for something. Uh, some little sticks that had those fans that you get sometimes that have like political stuff on them and they'll go around and hand them out. Well, these are the wood pieces from it. I'm not sure I'll ever use these for anything. Don't even know, but held on to them just in case. And then here's an envelope that had a pretty piece of washi, which I wish I had that washi. It's so pretty. The music notes. I love music notes. So it was a cute envelope. More packaging that had like cute little stitching around it. Very cute. Very cute. This was like a wood grain. I can cut out like the, the stuff and get most of the wood grain. I just thought that was interesting. Here's just a package and this had like a black kind of chalkboardy look in. And it was, uh, you know, it still had the plastic. I just didn't take it off yet. I might even use the plastic for something. So I kind of keep it on some of them. Here's another one and it's got the plastic on it and it's both sides. This would make a cute tag by itself, just like this. So it's got the hole, it's, it's, it's a good size, so and it's two-sided, and I can just cover this with paper on the bottom and the top, and then, you know, it would be cute. Here's just a piece of Teresa Collins packaging. Another Seven Gypsies. Here's that tag that was in the plastic. See, it has that chalkboardy kind of look. And then here's one. It's like that natural kind of look. And then here's another stamp thing, and I just like the fact that it's a pretty decent little piece of cardboardy kind of stuff. Here's one that's not ripped, the wood. Here's a Tim Holtz packaging. They're, they usually have some pretty cool packaging. Here's a chopstick package. I thought that would be cool to collage with. And then we've got some random envelopes. Just some old envelopes. Here's another envelope. To use. Actually, I have somewhere to put that. A bigger envelope. Another chopstick package. This is just random white copy paper that I held on to because it was all the same size. I can use it for something. And actually, I'm going to put this somewhere else because I like to use these as little jot notes. So I don't know how it ended up in here. Some things end up in here that I don't intend sometimes. Actually, these are scraps. These aren't supposed to be in here. Um, and then there's this that somebody sent me, um, I think it was either a bag or they wrapped something in this kind of paper and it was really cool. So I held on to that scraps of like a library card. There's some more scraps of things. These are some scrap things that I had just, just random scrap stuff. This had some cute music notes on it. So I figured I can punch something out of that. These are more scrap, like scrap of scraps. I keep those in a different place. This one had owls on it. Here's Tim Holtz. That's a really nice pattern. This one was a nice piece of chipboard. Um, it's, it got a little ripped, but I can fix that and, and cover it and use it. Here's some more packaging that's just like this, you know, natural kind of stuff. And it, this could be used as a tag as well, like a long skinny tag. You know, or I can cut this much off of it and make it like a shorter tag. This was cool because it had a pocket. I can cover it and then use the little, or not a pocket, it had a, like a window. And, you know, use that to show something through. I'm kind of going fast just because I don't want the video to be a million years long. Here's another one. This had, oh, that's right, it had the chalkboard clips in it. And then we've got a duct tape. It's a nice circle from my duct tape. Just a piece of random 
Um, yeah. Cardboard. Another envelope. Packaging. Oh, and this was more paint chips. These are lighter colors. I used to hold on to these because I used to paint um, and I would paint for a living. And so I have a few of these. I have a really, really thick one. And I would hold on to it because I would show people, you know, different colors to get ideas and help them get ideas for painting their house. Um, some more uh, packaging. This was uh, the packaging to one of those stickers that you get out of the machine. You put the 50 cents in and you push it in. And then it, when you pull it out, the sticker comes out. Well, these are awesome. These can be something. Um, this is a, these are vintage seam binding packages, so they're fun. This is a little mini little clear envelope. I don't remember what was in here, but I can put this into a junk journal. Here's some priority mail envelopes that I can make a junk journal out of or use them. And then there's just a standard business envelope in there. So these are cool. I can use those. Another packaging, and then these were in a, like, I think mason jar or something. I don't know why I kept them. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these quite yet, but I held on to them because they're just like a cardboard and they folded flat, so I figured why not. Um, this was just a piece of paper with a picture on it. Um, here's a cute picture of two dogs. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> so cute! And then here's just some more packaging. Um, here's just a really large paper plastic bag that I thought was nice. And actually, I'm going to put that aside because I have somewhere else to put that. More paint. And these are paint chips that were shaped like a leaf. And I thought these were really cool. And how cool would that be to make a flower out of them? You know, or something. I think I had a couple more of them somewhere. Here's some uh, extra um, toilet paper rolls that I had already flattened to make a toilet paper roll um mini album which I've done and then here's another vintage um, thing for yarn or whatever here's some extra chipboard here's the other part of that here's uh, one of those things so I can cut this off and use it somewhere else uh, from an envelope uh, another paint sample book that I can turn into a journal or, or a fold out folio of some sort which I thought was cool it's got really nice colors on it um, let's see another paint thing packaging paint here's more paint chips here's more of these size I like these because again you can fold these and make notebooks out of them or make tags out of them so they're kind of fun packaging more packaging a little tag that was given um, to me when I ordered or bought stamps I can reuse more packaging this one has cute little script on it, which I thought was cute. This one here is just like a vintage piece of cardboard that I found in something else. Here, this had some cool uh, writing on it. Command strips. <laughs> this was like really thick. Little Yellow Bicycle is the name of the company, and I thought it was just super thick. Could be used for something. Little itty bitty. More packaging. More packaging. More packaging. More packaging, more packaging, more packaging, packaging, packaging. This is mostly all packaging. Yeah, little shiny cardstock. So yeah, so that's what's in that box, and that's what I keep and hold on to and use whenever I need something. It's there, and usually by the when it starts getting really full, that's when it's time to say, okay, it's time to go through it. It's time to sit down, it's time to make something with the stuff, and it's overflowing now, so, uh, yeah, let's, we need to make a journal. I have other projects I have to work on first, um, which I'm a little behind on things. Look, I can't even, like, shut it anymore. And I had more stuff than that in there because I had these in there, so I don't know how I screwed that up somehow. Um, and then the only other thing is, and the reason why I put these envelopes aside, is because this is where I normally keep my envelopes that I'm going to use inside of this little clipboardy thing. I keep, like, old envelopes. I also have, like, this was my envelope from when I ordered something from China. It came in this cool envelope. 
Um, I keep these from H&R Block. Like, they gave me a whole bunch of these, like, a while ago. And I keep them because they're, like, books. And, well, they are books. And they've got, like, a little uh, thing. And they've got paper in them. And I just thought this would be kind of fun to use these. And then the expense record books um, could be cool little books that I make. And then, of course, I wanted to keep mostly my envelopes in here. So, yeah, so that's my junk, man. I just thought I'd share that with you because if you're, you know, if you're not sure what to save, you might have seen something in one of my boxes that, you know, gave you some ideas. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so start saving some stuff because soon we're going to do a junk journal together. So you're going to want some stuff to use to make your junk journal with me. And also don't forget... Let me know. Thumbs up if you like this angle of camera and if it's cool and if it seems better and easier to see. Um, yeah, totally. Let me know so I can keep it like this because I think it would be a good idea. It's out of the way and this way you get to see everything in the right angle and it just might make things easier. So, yeah. So, again... Oh, also in the comments, besides letting me know if you like this camera angle, let me know what kind of other junk that you save. What stuff do you save? Because saving stuff that you would normally throw away is fantastic and can be used in so many ways. So maybe there's something you save that I don't know about and you should tell me so that I know. <laughs> so let me know. Is there something that you're saving that, you know, that I don't know about maybe? Let me know what stuff, what junk do you save? Okay? Well, anyway, I guess that's it. Make sure you do what you love, love what you do. And don't forget to watch the video that I'm going to be putting up or I'm trying to edit it. Doing the best I can to get it edited because it's kind of long. But my best friend was here. Yes, my best friend Lisa. And we um, did some we did some Prima doll painting and we watercolored them and we made really cute Prima doll pictures. And we were just messing around while she was here. She, I don't get to see her that often because she works a lot and goes to school. And I work a lot and trying to get this house together. So we barely get to see each other. So when we do, we like to have fun and do something. And she came over and did a video with me. So it was my very first collaboration video. It really wasn't a collaboration because she doesn't do YouTube videos. It was my first, I don't know, my first video with somebody else. And it was just her hands and my hands because we both, you know, didn't know. I don't want to be on camera because I always look like crap. And so anyway, um, but she was here and we had a good time and we laughed a lot and had fun. So you need to watch that video. I don't know if I'll get it up before this one or after this one. So either way, watch that video, check it out. It'll say in the title of it, something about my best friend. So, um, I hope you guys have a great, great rest of your week. Make sure you do what you love, love what you do and be nice to everyone. Love you guys. Bye.